Our next topic is on horizontal compress or stretch. The best way to teach this type of transformation is to give an example. So for example, this is your function. A horizontal compression would be something that looks like this. Anything that happens inside the parentheses affects the horizontal axis or the x-axis. Also, we have to take note that anything that happens inside actually tells us the opposite. So this might seem like a big number, but really what you're doing to your function is you are shrinking it or compressing it by a factor of one half. So this is described as a horizontal compression by factor of one half. Now let's look at an example on a stretch. Uh, horizontal stretch would be something that looks like this. So this is described as a horizontal stretch by a factor of 2. And again, anything that happens inside affects the horizontal axis, and anything that happens inside is actually done in the opposite. So it might be a small number, but really you're stretching your function, and your factor here is 2. It's the reciprocal of 1 half. And 1 half here is actually from the reciprocal of 2 over 1. So let us now look at the table. So your table, for the original, we will maintain our domain of negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2. For convenience purposes, we're just going to plug it in on y equals. That's 3x plus 2. Go to second graph. You're going to see all your range, starting with negative 4 all the way up to 8. And that's what we're going to use as our range. That is negative 4, negative 1, 2, 5, and 8. This is your original table. Your uh, table for the transform function would look like this. Horizontal, meaning it affects the x. Therefore, the y is not affected. All the y values are copied down. So you will have negative 4, negative 1, 2, 5, and 8. All these now are going to be cut in half because you are shrinking your function by a factor of half. So half of um, negative 2 is actually negative 1. This is going to be negative 0.5. This is a 0. This is going to be 0.5. And this is going to be 1. This is your table that represents your transform function. So let's now look at the stretch. So again, your new table your old table would be the same as this one. And it's negative 4, negative 1, 2, 5, and 8. This is your original table. We look at the new table by looking at this. It says it's a horizontal stretch by a factor of 2. So therefore, all of these x values are going to be multiplied by 2. The y values are going to stay the same. So negative 4, negative 1, 2, 5, and 8. The x values will be multiplied by 2, making it negative 4, negative 2, 0, 2, and 4. This now is your table that represents your uh, transform function. This is your original. Now let's go to the equation. So your equation will now look like this. Your old one or your original is f of x equals 3x plus 2. And you wanted this to be your new x value. Therefore, your f prime of x will be 3. And then I would replace it with a parenthesis so that I would be ready to plug whatever is on there. It's going to become 2x. Therefore, my f prime x will become 6x plus 2. Going back here, your again, your 
original function is 3x plus 2, but your f prime x is asking us to do this in place of x. So 3 parentheses plus 2. And inside, I'm going to plug my 1 half x, making my f prime x become 3 out of 2 x plus 2. 